What's up guys? Uh, it is uh, Thursday night, July 2nd. Uh, I'm actually on my way to Lidditz um, this evening um, to remove, or not remove, remove, we'll remove and relocate a uh, bumblebee nest. Uh, it's in a uh, couple of barn. They have a barn in their backyard. Um, and they're going to be, they said they're putting some livestock in it next week and uh, they just want the bees out of there. They just thought it'd be too much of a risk having the bees in there with uh, their livestock. So they've enlisted me to help them with uh, getting them out of there and uh, finding them a new home. So uh, be giving these uh, bumblebees a second chance at life. Um, they had said they had called uh, some beekeepers, uh, regular honey beekeepers, but Regular honeybee keepers only do honeybees. They're not really interested in bumblebees, so this is where I come in. I don't do honeybees, but I do bumblebees, so here we are. Anyway, um, let's get to the video. So the nest is uh, right in there. One of the bees. I'll leave you this in case you wanna. Okay. Something. Thanks. Yeah, it's red too, so they can't, they can't see red. Smart. Did you? I don't know if you knew that or not, but. I knew that it's better for us. I didn't know if they, that they can't actually see red. Yeah, it's that's why. I've, like I think uh, it's, I've heard that they can't see the color red. And this is a low setting. I can turn that up if you need a little bit more light, or if you want to okay. put it somewhere else. Uh, I think I'm good. So they were going in over here, and then um, boards were taken off. So the ones you see there were foragers coming back that are confused, like, um, you know, where's our nest? See the nest in there. Right, I think I got it. You have a bunch of them laying on their backs. Really interesting behavior. All clear. All clear. 
clear.